<laughs> Hello and welcome one more time to my YouTube channel. Does money matter when you're buying guitar pedals? Um, yeah, it does. Uh, not always, but it does sometimes. Um, you know, it's it's very subjective. But I do believe there is one particular area where perhaps money does matter. And we're going to explore that a little bit today. Uh, and that's the world of Univibe pedals. So, to that end, I have three Univibe pedals that I'm going to be looking at today. And I'm going to do a bit of a Pepsi blind taste challenge type situation thing where I'm going to play all three. It's going to be interesting to see if I get any feedback, any comments from people as to which one they believe is uh, the best sounding one, their favourite one. Uh, during the Pepsi style challenge. I will of course reveal which pedal is which at the end. Um, so first up is the uh, very very cheap and affordable Mosky Audio uh, Chorus Vibe Effects pedal for electric guitar uh, purchasable from AliExpress and other dirt cheap places uh, to the tune of about 19 quid which is ridiculously cheap for a Univibe pedal. You quite possibly cannot get a cheap one. Uh, so next up we have uh, a, a what's called a Dunlop JMH JHM7 Hendrix Univibe chorus pedal. Um, this is an interesting one because there are, there are some players who are famous for for using Univibe, and there are none more than Jimi Hendrix. So if you're going to release a Univibe pedal with Jimi Hendrix's picture on it, uh, then you better damn make a good one. Um, this is kind of a mid-level priced one. Um, it was available for around about £144. Um, you can't get them new anymore, but used. They're still going for around that sort of money, maybe a little bit cheaper than that. But still, that's that's substantially more money than the £19 like the other one. Um, and then finally, because obviously we want to look at the, the high end of this, we're going to be having a look at this full-tone... Uh, custom shop uh, Mini Deja Vibe 3, the MDV3, um, which is widely considered sort of the benchmark uh, un boutique Univibe. I mean, there are lots of other ones out there, but um, at this sort of price point. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get plugged in with a guitar and start making some noise. All right. So I'm plugged in. I've got beautiful... American Ultra Stratocaster with uh, bare knuckle Irish tour pickups in this bad boy. They're absolutely fantastic pickup. Bit of a plug for those uh, if you fancy something nice in your strap. Uh, deluxe reverb amp, and in the middle, I've got an overdrive pedal, uh, which is an OCD clone, giving me some drive sound. Uh, so as I go through these, feel free to comment on my video and uh, tell me which one you think sounds best. Um, see if you can guess which one is which as we go through this before you skip to the end and uh, and get to the bit where I tell you which one is which. I uh, just want to give you a, a listen to what the amp guitar sounds like uh, without the univibes on. <laughs> so see what you think. So let's go with what we call univibe A. So that was Univibe A. Let's go to Univibe B. Oh, <laughs> 
with you the vibe C. So we've heard all three uni vibes there. Which one did you think was the best and which one did you think was which? Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, stick around for the big reveal. Right, so here's my pedal board. Uh, you can see the Hendrix one there, the cheapo, can't even remember the name of it now, the cheapo AliExpress jobby one there. And there's my uh, full tone MDV3 on the end there and uh, believe it or not the signal chain is them three together and then everything else after um, but the overdrive is this one <laughs> reveal then which pedal was which well uh, the first one you heard Univibe A was actually the dirt cheap one one you heard, Univibe B, was actually the MDV3. So there you go, MDV3. Finally, uh, Univibe C, which was the uh, the Hendrix one. Conclusion, what do you think? Which one did you think sounded the best? Which one did you think was worth buying, paying money for? Um, I'll be honest with you, I, I'll give you my opinion on this and, uh, and feel free to, to give me yours uh, in the comments, but uh, there is nothing to beat the MDV3. It simply just does the job better than, than any other Univibe I've, I've had. There's two main reasons for that. One is the authenticity of the tone is right there, 100%. And it has a, a transparency as well that you get all that lovely washiness and vibiness and pulsating juiciness without losing any of the tone. And I've always found a lot of univibes to darken your tone. Um, and the MDV3 doesn't do that. If anything, it kind of embellishes the right parts it gives you more sort of mid-range growliness right where you want it uh and it helps you see the whole trick to playing with univibe i find is you have to play with the right type of feel you have to play with a feel that suits that sound um and that's where hendrix and trower absolutely nail it you know that's that's where they get it so right and why they're so effective at using this type of effect and for me the mdv3 is an aid to that it helps you find those really nice phrases and things like that, that just sound nice with the univibe effect on um 
the the big surprise to me was the one I preferred best the next after that one was the cheapo aliexpress what was it called a mosky audio survive pedal um it's like it, it's it's like 95 percent of the mdv3 in terms of the tone and the sound it's there there's something just a little bit mm, not quite as natural sounding on it but it's it's like for the price difference, it's ridiculous how good it is. For less than twenty pounds, you've got a Univibe that, to me, to my ears, um, sounds you know ninety five percent as good as uh, a very expensive boutique one. Uh, so really, the the disappointing one for me was the the Hendrix one, um, the one that's got the the great man's name on it and is supposedly you know the pedal to get you the the hendrix tone it just just didn't have the depth didn't have the the, the tonality it was dark from in my ears maybe it's not coming maybe that doesn't come across uh on the video here but dark in the tone when the when the univibe was sweeping through its range in its undulations when it it was going dark in the middle and and, and coming back but not coming back nicely just felt uncomfortable and, and not where uh, where it not doing what it's supposed to do and this to me it, it, you know it highlights two things one is cost doesn't always equal quality um you've got a dirt cheap one there that's better than a mid-range price one in my eight years at least um and that certainly there are huge differences between univide pedals now i've had almost every single univide pedal conceivable uh over the years and i keep coming back to the full tone the mdv3 anyway on conclusion for me mdv3 is the is definitely the best option but it comes with a premium price um second best is the cheapest you could possibly get your hands on the mosky audio can't speak highly enough of that for the price it's stupendously well priced uh, and some a superbly uh, cool sounding pedal for the amount of money and also incredibly disappointed again actually with uh, Dunlop um, slapping Hendrix's name on something and it being a bit turd um, not the first time they've done that so anyway thanks for watching um, like I say feel free to make a comment let me want, let me know what you thought um, and uh, yeah happy guitaring see you later <laughs>